he had a good mama at home cooking. He had someone at home cooking very well. And he's riffing off of what he saw growing up, and this is what we're getting. I'm telling you, this guy has done it all. Like, he, he really knows what he's doing, man. Looks like we're going to Miami. <laughs> Right, oh, here we got our. Right. Is that him in the yeah, middle? Yeah, that's him in the middle. That's Guga in the middle. I love him. <laughs> chef Ryan Sow here, not your typical chef, owner of Mission Sandwich Social, located right here in Williamsburg, Brooklyn. Winner of Beat Bobby Flay season one, and today I'm going to be reacting to Guga Foods sous vide everything channel France's best MSG with your highly requested return of Chef Paul de Namiel. Before I go on with today's episode, I do want to give a special shout out to my newest sous chef level patrons, Emmy Sayong, Baldemar Villasana, and Jason Magania. Guys, thank you so much for your support. You, along with all the patrons, really do make a difference on this channel. And remember, by becoming a patron, you get to take advantage of some awesome perks like early access to new episodes, patron exclusive content, and even extended versions of certain episodes. Chef Paul Denamiel, welcome back to Pro Chef Reacts. It is so good to see you. The people hath spoketh and they want more Frenchie, and here you are. And no, 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 stop, 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 way too much. Frenchie is pouring me whiskey and uh, whole- It's the secret to our success, my friend. <laughs> we are going to be the alcoholic podcast. Oh my God. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, that is, come on. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a hefty amount, okay. Chef Paul, can you please look into the camera and let them know who you are, what you do, and what you're about. I am a chef owner of Le Rivage Restaurant. I am supposedly a French chef. I don't know. Have you ever heard of Guga Foods? No. Okay, now you are famed for the French onion soup burger. You are famously famous. Famously famous? <laughs> for the French onion. Wait, I, I think I coined that. No, you said that on your last appearance, your second to last appearance now. So that's my thing. That's your thing, I just stole it from you. TM, trademarked. It's not official until you got the paper, bitch. Mm. All right, so Guga, uh, sous vide everything in specific. I was actually recently featured on this channel. Guga is an amazing, I'm gonna call him, he doesn't consider himself a chef. I'm gonna call him a culinarian. That's the word we're gonna use. The f is a culinarian. <laughs> Let's just watch this. If you eat food, I'm a culinarian, I eat the food. I have the mozzarella sticks and the, my, chicken, and my chicken fingers. I am the culinarian. <laughs> Let's just watch the video, okay? This is one of the most insane experiments I've ever done in my life. I By the way, that particular video which I've reacted to, that's MSG. He dry-aged steak in MSG. But how does he get the MSG to stick on it? Ah, uh, he just caked it. He buried it. it. He yeah, caked he just on caked it? it. Yeah. Yeah. No. Wait a second. But then he's so he's making. Wait a second. Okay. Yeah. He's taking a smoked salmon principle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. more or less. Dry aged steak. More or less. Is the steak already dry aged? No. Wait. Okay. <laughs> he's okay. Steak. Steak. And he's patting it down with the salt. Okay, listen. He's what? he's salt curing. More or less. Yes, he's curing. Yes. He's curing. He's not. The term he's use, using is dry aged because when you and I think of dry aged, just you just you just take the 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 chunk of meat bear and leave it to dry in a temperature and humidity controlled room, right? <clears throat> but there's wet age. There's wet age too, but but let's just keep it simple. Most people know dry age, okay. right? So Guga does these insane <clears throat> experiments on steaks. That's his specialty is steaks. Just steaks. I mean, he does a lot, but- What's his best steak so far? Probably this one, the MSG steak. I miss G, I love MSG. Dude, you have to- MSG. Guga, Guga, can I bring Paul with me on my next trip? MS I promise you it'll be fun. Something may break. You may yell at somebody but it'll be a lot of fun, I promise. As long as there's editing, we're all good. <laughs> <laughs> as long as we don't Dude, go we're live. we're only six seconds into the video. As long as we don't go live, okay. we're all good. Right. We're only six seconds in. Let's just go. Let's just keep going, all right? I had one of his steaks. It was literally one of the best steaks I've had in my life. And what was it? Just one of his steaks, man. Wait, what did you do to it? Well, we did a... We you know, no, you can't come at me and say you had the best steak and not tell me what it was. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, all right, so from the video that we did together, I made kimchi for him from scratch and we sous vide a steak with kimchi and we also made
made a uh, steak with kimchi compound butter, and it was oh. bomb as. Fuck. So you're saying that the best steak that you had was all your? Dinner. No, no. We oh, 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 let me toot my own horn now. Toot, toot. Let's watch the video. Yeah, let's watch the video. And the result was something unexpected. It turned out delicious, and most importantly, something I thought I would never do. And that was done with regular MSG. However, my audience told me that this is the MSG. MSG and French onion soup. Okay, so he's using MSG as a blanket term, basically for something that's super flavorful. Oh, and for and for people who don't know, this is where I come in because we're obviously using nor French onion soup. Make Which this is, a is a where Frenchy brain. comes in. <laughs> oh, for f sakes, let's go to France and see if they have nor French onion soup mix. <laughs> Jesus in Christ. And when I open up the packaging, this is what is inside. From tasting it just Oh, like that looks this, so French to me. Powerful. Let's and most do importantly, this. it smells different. Kind of like different. Stinky, Not good. But at the same different. Time, the taste is quite nice. However, oh, nice. as you already know, if I try to put this on a steak, it's just gonna completely fall off. So I went ahead and threw everything into my spice grinder, ground everything up, and this is what I was left with. Perfect French onion soup powder. Is it Fuck, gonna be dude, better than salt, pepper, smart. and garlic powder? Well, you guys said yes. Dude, this guy is like a mad scientist. Dude, that's pretty It's smart, that right? Was I'm telling smart. you, this guy really knows. He is, he doesn't, he told me himself, he does not consider himself a chef, but I am telling but you. But you know what? This is outside the yes. box thinking. Yes. Because we're so ingrained. Yes. We gotta do this, yeah, we gotta yeah, do yeah, that, yeah. we gotta do yeah. this. That. But like, he's, like not, that. he's not limited by what we learned in the rules Right, the rules. Of engagement. Yeah. And I told this to him, to his face. I was like, dude, you are able to go outside the boundaries of what chefs do because for us, we won't exp we won't we won't experiment. We won't because R &D we're already it. told not to do that. Yeah, yeah. This is why I'm so fascinated with this dude. I mean, he's basically a food scientist. Yeah. When I was purchasing it, there was many different options to choose from. The first one was the most popular, and this was the second most popular version. So I said, you know what? Let's try different ones to see which one is better. I did the same exact thing though. I blend everything up into powder so that we can use on our steaks. Talking about that, these are the three we'll be using for today's cook. New York strip choice steaks. grade New York strip, one and a half inches ah. thick, and just perfect specimens of that, steaks. Those are nice. I gotta say, those are nice them, looking this steaks. Is how gonna go down. The first one is going to be our control. A little bit of salt followed by freshly ground black pepper and garlic powder the second wait wait wait, wait. Other... so wait a second so he's doing a control which yeah. is like your, your standard steak yes and then he's gonna do what he's the experiments the experiments correct i like this right isn't it this it's is good badass right super badass this is smart this is very smart I mean, this is this is why I'm so fascinated with this channel. And the third one, I did the same exact thing. A little bit of salt, followed by the second French onion soup powder. And, and as I you can tell you, see, yeah. nobody's looking at it, but I love that cutting board. He's he's done some work. On yeah, that. yep, yep. Quite oh, generous. yeah. I've been as there. I saw the cutting board to myself. And season both sides, throw them in the bag, okay, so, vacuum so, seal wait, them. So he's seasoning all of them the same way. No, no, no. He's not. He, uh, no, no, no. He did. He did. He put the salt on it. On all. He put salt on all of them, but one of them was salt, black pepper, and garlic powder. Mm -hmm. One was salt, and you know, one brand of French onion soup powder. And the third one was the same thing: salt and another brand of French onion soup so, powder. So what's his thing? But sous vide is what is that? Is that, is sous vide like the principal cooking method? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For this channel, he has three channels. He has three yeah, channels. Yeah, So sous vide everything is everything sous vide. Right, and what are the others? Guga Foods, which is predominantly grilled. Okay. And then the third channel, which is relatively new, that is like whatever else he wants to do. This guy is like yeah. covering all the bases. Yes, exactly. He's That's got a lot of side chicks. He... <laughs> But which one is the wife? His wife is lovely. I've met her. Oh, yeah? Actually, his wife is the one that showed him my channel. Oh, yeah? And how I got to meet him and go to Miami. And Where's my channel? Oh, I don't have a channel. You don't have a channel. That, the people want your channel. I'm pretty sure if you started a channel, they would all jump ship to your channel. I'll be cooking all of them in the same container at 129 degrees Fahrenheit for two hours. This will allow them to cook to perfection. As that was cooking, though, it was perfect because it allowed me time to go ahead and make an incredible side dish. And this one is really... Dick. Me. <laughs> All right. Why? Why did you say? Oh, this is. He's not a chef. He's not a chef. That looks good. Yeah. Listen, he's bomb, dude. He knows Holy what he's doing. 
Yeah. You know what? No, no. It's not that he's not a chef, but he had a good mama at home cooking. He had someone at home cooking very well. And he's riffing off of what he saw growing up, and this is what we're getting. Yeah. Dude, I know that'll mean a lot to Guga coming from you, you know? Because you know what you're doing. Everything starts off with these potatoes. Now they were all sliced the same size, and I also like to peel them. After giving them a quick rinse, oh, I went ahead wait, and wait a second, wait a second. He got sexy pudgy hands. <laughs> I haven't seen him yet. Yeah. But he, but he's he, he, he's consistent, right? Yeah, he's, a, he, he's he's one of us. He's one of us, yeah, right? Yeah. Oh, I love. I just looked at the hands, and I know already that I love him. Not only that, he's. Bald like He's me, bald? like me. Yeah. Oh, I'm not bald, but I can't. But I can be. You can be. <laughs> hey, if you're enjoying the content, I'd greatly appreciate it if you hit the thumbs up. If you're not already, make sure you're subscribed. And if you want to be extra nice, hit the notification bell so you don't miss an episode. Now into our cast iron skillet, I oh. place all of them on the bottom. Once that was done, I season it with salt, followed by freshly. And he seasons. He dude, salts. Dude, that you know, except. With the exception of the thickness of the potatoes, but this is what I—that's what I'm known for too. I got my do my pomana, yeah, yeah. man, and I do. Mm. If you guys are ever coming to New York, and I say this truly from the bottom of my heart, Paul's restaurant, as far like it's awesome. You gotta check it out. It is a f classic New York French restaurant. It's not conceited. Yeah. It's accessible. Yeah. And I, what I like to call it is French comfort food. Yes, that's exactly it. I mean, as far as, and, and this is not me crawling up your ass. As far as your... <laughs> as you try to turn me on. But, but I like, I love the fact that, and look, that cast iron pan is seasoned. It's used. It is seasoned, yeah, bro. He, this guy knows what he's doing. He knows what like he's doing. And he's not a chef. To go ahead I'm so glad I showed this to you. <sighs> I'm so glad you picked this, actually. Throwing some ground beef. Yes, straight on top of it. It is a one pan side He's dish. Trying We're trying to, be to make like this clean. as convenient as possible. I learned so much from this guy when I was there. I I really and I told him I was like you have the discipline of a chef. He may oh, not be no, able to No no no. He's beyond a chef because most chefs listen. Let's let's be honest. We all know the famous chefs right. and and they got ahead, you know, the gift of gab right. or their or or the culinary culinary talent top top tier right gift of gab second tier right 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 but this guy this is this is passion this is love actually that's actually that's the better word passion this is pure passion you know yeah first with a good amount of salt followed by freshly you see oh, he, he, he come on. yes he seasons every step of the every way every step of the way yeah. Every pepper, layer you have powder, seasoned. Smoked paprika and a tiny bit of parsley. Then I went ahead with a second layer <gasps> of potato, making sure that I covered the entire meat. And just like before, I went ahead I am making, I'm gonna, well. I, I, listen, salt. I'm making my own version of this. It's an achipamentier. So listen, there's a peasant dish where you, you do all your leftover foods and you grind it all, you grind it up and you put it on the bottom. It's like a shepherd, it's like a, it's like a poor man's, poor man's shepherd pie in France. And then you layer it with mashed potatoes. But this, this is, I, I want to do, I, I'm looking at this and I want to do this. Yeah. Freshly ground black pepper and a good amount of olive oil. It is important to season every single layer. I'm, I'm like, I'm actually turned on and I want, I'm like, I want to cook. Yeah. No, I haven't watched something that wants, that makes me want to cook. Yeah. In a long time. This is what I love about YouTube because there are guys like this out there who are doing an amazing Wait thing. Wait a second. What is he doing right, now? Right, let's watch. Had and made a simple cheese sauce. So he, he cooked it already, and now he's oh no 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 no, no 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 it's not cooked. He's adding. Oh wait wait no wait, no no wait, no, wait, no, wait, no. Wait, he wait, cooked wait. it. Shut the fuck up. Calm down, son. He's not a chef. He's not a chef. Oh, all right, let me say this. But where did he get the inspiration for that? Because he just loves. Food. No 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 no. This this. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But I can tell. Let me tell you something. I spent forty eight hours with this dude. I mean, like we worked non stop. This guy is no bullshit. Straight to the point. I had so much fun with him and his team, but this guy just loves it, man. He just really loves it. This is exciting. Yeah. Because he's combining 
It's so many things that I'm like. And the thing is, he's doing it right. He's doing it right. He's doing it right. It's so clean. Yes. Oh. So I went ahead and placed that cheese that sauce right gorgeous. on the top. Yeah. And into the oven he goes for an additional 10 minutes. Once the time is up, I took <gasps> it out and look. This yeah. is what you're left with. Beautiful. And I don't want to serve it right away. This thing awesome. is piping yeah. hot. So after about 20 minutes, I went ahead and. You lost me on the steak. This is all I want. Yeah. Dude, I mean. How? Wait a second. Honestly, as but a wait a second. What? He he. Did you see what he did? He's like, we're gonna do this steak and everything, and then he side stepped yeah. into this thing. This is phenomenal. Yeah. I want to eat that. All right. I don't care how good the others. No, that's not true. <laughs> I want to see what the other steak. But that is. A dish onto itself. Yes. This is what you're like. Oh, f an easy you, simple yes. dish that anyone can make. Now I know what you're thinking. How is it gonna taste? Well, you're about to find out real shortly. As by this time my steaks were fully cooked, so I went ahead, opened them up, set them down. Oh, on a meanwhile, cooler, and as you can see, there, <laughs> this motherfucker. And yeah, yeah. Points. Points. So I am it's telling not. you, dude, he is. He executes better than most chefs. So I made sure to pet them dry really good. You see, even yes. the detail. Yeah. He's... That's a detail that yeah. most people would skip yes. over. Yes. You, like, even you and I would skip over sometimes. Look, everything is clean. Yes. The colors are clean. And his pudgy little fingers. I love those. Pudgy oh, little... uh, he's not little. He's a big, he's a big dude. Big dude. Big, strong dude. No. Big, strong motherfucker. Yeah. But can you give me a, a bear hug? Oh, yeah, yeah. Will he cuddle me? Best hugs ever. You'll give me a big <laughs> bear hug? Guga, can I please bring Paul with me? Please? Okay. Uh, actually, I don't know. That may be dangerous. You and I in Miami together. I have all my connections in oh. Miami. Welcome to Miami. <laughs> I know they don't look that good right now, but watch this. There's nice. There's some caramelization yeah, going on there. Yeah, for real. Look at that. So, so what? He, so the blowtorch was the final. Yeah, yeah. So he sous vide and then he hits it with a blowtorch. Uh, I would prefer a cast iron yes. skillet, per personally. Yeah, because you get like it's even. Like you, you don't. And my only thing is, I'm so sensitive. This is only me, but I'm so sensitive to like smells and everything. I would eat that, and I would be able to smell. That. Because there would be a little bit of that, like, kerosene. Yeah, I would smell that. Aroma. But, but then again, listen, some people like So I, I know the main reason, well, this is my assumption, that he doesn't do the cast iron. He goes with the blowtorch because it doesn't give you the gray band. But you and I could compensate for that. What are you talking about? What do you mean? Turn to the side. I, I know, but you're still going to have a little bit of gray band on there. Which, but for you and I, like you and I, don't find that a bad thing. Maybe he does, I, and that's something we have that to ask. He loves that picture perfect color. Yeah, there. yeah, yeah. The like it's like top the, to bottom. The, so, no, the even color, right. top to bottom. Yeah. The the fact that he made that artistic choice just shows you his level of detail. You and I would prefer a cast iron skillet, yeah. but the fact that he chooses this because him and I spoke about it in person just shows you that like. No, this is what I think, and this is the decision I've made. But did you express to him, like, the fumes? No. That's what I would have done. That's why you need to come with me. Hope you're enjoying this video because there is an extended version available on my Patreon. That's right. By becoming a patron, you get to watch extended versions of certain episodes along with patron exclusive content. So be sure to visit the link below and become a patron today. And with that said, back to the episode. Hello. <laughs> Dude, he is a professional all across the board, not just the cooking, but the artistry of like like what he's doing here the 10,000 hours yeah the 10,000 20,000 hours so he's like looking at the whole scope of things and the visual of the blowtorch right. is amazing but if we were to tell him that he could take a cast iron pan and get it white hot yeah white hot and 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 you put that that steak on top of it and that visual he would we could sell him i don't know that. all right you have to come back and we have to re react to one of his google food his main channel videos because when he grills it's something else man. it looks good yeah, it's 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 sick but but is it does he put accelerant on it no no, no i sugar? i was there i saw it no sugar no, no accelerant no sugar. Zero. No sugar. No alcohol. I am telling you, zero. No brown sugar. Nothing. Hmm. I'm telling you, this guy has done it all. Like, he, he really knows what he's doing, man. Looks like we're going to Miami. 
<laughs> All right, everybody, oh. here we got our... Right. Is that him in the yeah, middle? Yeah, that's him in the middle. That's Guga in the middle. I love him. <laughs> that's me. That's you, that's me. It's a combination of you it's and me. Combination. It's a combination of you and me. That's why we love him. Oh! Bro, All right. if that is not a combination of you and me, nothing is. <laughs> I'm just gonna point out, mm. we got some thick cuts today. That's right. Thick is always better, everybody. Thick. Remember that. Always. It is a little experiment. Let me know your honest opinion. We're gonna go in this one right here. Oh, smells delicious, huh? Why do steaks smell, taste? It's so good. Is there anything better than steak? No. Damn, that was quick, Angel. <laughs> Enough talking, let's give this a go. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Mm, 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 mm. It surprises me every <laughs> Did you single see that time editing? how soft a sous vide steak is. If you never had it, just try it. You will thank all of us later. I promise you. It's pretty good. All right, let's go for the second one. You ready? Please dig in. Curious to find out how it's gonna taste. This Does is the nor. This is the nor. That was the first one. Oh yes. yes. It smells oniony. <laughs> I, I don't know if I like but that. But sous vide, it, it, it'll, it'll, it'll work. Like, it'll work. A it'll thousand work. percent. A thousand it's percent. It's definitely gonna I'm work. I'm very curious to see what they say though. No, it just doesn't smell very appetizing. I think it smells what? good. What? It smells good. <laughs> I guess it smells a little bit like feet, everybody. <laughs> no way. Is that what this is? No, because of your no, artificial? No, no, no. Sous -vide no. well, I mean, listen, there's something, you, you have, there's something artificial there's about something packaging. There's something true. All right, all right. Experiment. <laughs> oh, no, that's powder. The, they might do that sous stuff vide on the feet. Only fans, but not on sous vide oh. everything. <laughs> Enough talking. Let's give it a go. Give us an honest opinion. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, whoa, that's real good. That Ooh. tastes amazing. All right, Paul, if we do a cooking video together where we <laughs> with something like this, would you do it with me? Yeah, of course. All right, guys, in the comments below, let us know if we hit 5,000 likes. I promise Paul and I will do a cooking video together and we will <laughs> with something French onion steak wise. Or doing that at my place though, right? Uh, well, I'll do it wherever you want. I'm that lazy, so I, it needs it to be smells. cooked. I was okay. very scared, but I am very happy right now. It's a delicious steak. I think Leo. Wait, can I crash over there? Yes, you can. Hell yeah. And I'll explain to you why. <laughs> <laughs> Off camera, baby. The actual flavor of the steak doesn't really change too much, oh. but the steak juices change completely. It's pretty good though. I like it. Amazing, everybody. Very delicious. Now, with that being said, I said we go for the side dish so that we can clean oh, that yes. palette. Now, I will say this for this side I, dish. Paul, I am. Sh shut up, shut up. <laughs> shut up. I highly recommend putting a little bit of hot sauce. Uh, Nick, would you do the honors, please? Nick you, is. But you hand, didn't taste it yet. Shot. Nick is very camera shy. But, but, but you're this so is sexy, Nick right I'm going to trust you. We got him. <laughs> he appeared on camera. He looked like Sasquatch. He was like, oh, no, they got so happy you like this dude, man. I, I love him. Guys, let us know in the comments if you want Paul and I to react more to Guga. Mm. Mm. Oh, good. Potato, ground beef, eggs, cheese. Is there oh, any way that's not going to be good? I, I love that's the That's a good dish. The beef man, is nice I like, I love seasoned. that. The egg is Look nice at that. and fluffy and delicious. All comes together really, really nice and makes a great side dish. Love it. Give it a try. Now, let's go for the last one, yeah? The, good. Let's what go. better side dish but beef on beef. <laughs> <laughs> I love that mother f***ing side dish. Let's give this gonna, one a go. We're going to have beef. Know. What would your side be? Another beef. <laughs> oh. 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 Yeah. You can tell that onion flavor is way more potent on this one. Much more powerful. Yeah. yeah. It's probably more artificial, too. That's why it's so good. Dude, it's salt. It's all salt. It tastes a lot. It's MSG. No, it's MSG, it's baby. MSG, baby. Too much. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up. Wait, that's it? That's it. That's I it. want more of him. Ah, uh, yeah. We got him, guys. We got Paul. Dude. We got Frenchie. He wants more Guga. I'm telling you, Guga's it is so freaking awesome. Like, you and I. Dude, he's sexy, too. He, <laughs> My wife is a chubby chaser. I can't. <laughs> I, can't I can't. I can't. I can't let her around in this guy. <laughs> Guys, hope you enjoyed this video as much as Paul and I did making it. Frenchie, before we go, please let everyone know who you are and what you're about and where they can find you. <sighs> I'm Chef Paul. I am the chef owner of Lori Vage Restaurant, a New York staple. I've been around for ever older than dirt but listen i'm so happy to be here i love you man 
my brother. You, you, you notice how he didn't say it back. You notice how he said it back. Breaks my heart every single time. With that said, don't be afraid to fail, cause it can. But I love you. I love you. Oh, I okay. do. You know that. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. You listen. You know what I do in a day, and I'm here right now. Hell yeah. So fuck <laughs> you. Hope you enjoyed this video as much as we did making it. And remember, don't be afraid to fail, cause it can only make you stronger. And with that said. Listen, we are the chef dynamic duo here. If you're gonna fail, just don't admit to it. That's the <laughs> French way. Don't just you fail all you want. Just don't tell nobody. <laughs> Before we close this out, my band Lost Becomes will be performing April 28th on Long Island at Amityville Music Hall together with Resistor, B Fell, Endless, and Patterns of Decay. Come out, hang out. I would love to meet you. Make sure you visit the link in the description below for tickets. You guys, take care, and we'll see y'all real soon. Say bye to the, to the wide cam. Back there, back there, back there. Wide cam, bye.